Vaccination methods. Vaccination in poultry is an important aspect of biosecurity. It is essential in ensuring safety of your investment and to promote healthy breeding practices for greater returns. In this video, the different types of vaccinations that are given for specific poultry diseases will be discussed. There are different ways to administer vaccines to poultry flocks. It is crucial that the correct method is used for each vaccine as the key to a successful vaccination lies in employing the right method to administer the vaccination. The first vaccination method that will be discussed is the intermuscular injection. This method involves the use of needle to insert the vaccine into the thighs of the chicken or usually into the breast muscles of the chickens. This method is usually used in vaccines NDR2B and fowl pox. Subcutaneous injection. This method is very similar to the intramuscular injection but in this case, the vaccine is injected under the skin, usually at the back of the neck instead of the breast muscles. This method is specially used for inactivated vaccines and Marks disease vaccine. Ocular In this vaccination method, the cheek is held with one eye turned up and one drop of the vaccine in sterile dropper is put in one eye. From here, the vaccine makes its way into the respiratory tract via the lacrimal duct. Oral In this method, the vaccine is given in the chicken's beak. From here, it may make its way into the respiratory system or it may continue in the digestive tract before entering the body. Drinking water vaccination method With this method, the vaccine is added to the drinking water. It is the most practical method of vaccination of birds. It is ideally used for large flocks of birds against Newcastle disease, infectious bursal disease, and infectious bronchitis. This is a common method used in all poultry farms for booster or repeat vaccinations too. The vaccinations is sometimes also done through the nipple drinkers. The drinking water is withdrawn for some time up to 2 hours depending on the season so the birds become thirsty. The vaccination water should be consumed within 2 hours. Spray vaccination method. The vaccine is sprayed into the chicken or into the air above the chicken by making use of a suitable spray applicator that controls the spray droplet size. The vaccine will fall in onto the chicken and enter the body of the other chickens as they pick up the shiny vaccine droplets. Nasal. This method involves introducing the vaccine into the bird's nostrils either as a dust or a, as a drop. The last vaccination method that will be discussed is the in ovo administration. This is a process by which vaccine is administered into fertile eggs via the air cell at between 17.5 and 19 days of incubation using a special machine. The basic laboratory concept of this vaccination is initially used for vaccination against Marks disease. 